Rebuilding Syrian Independent Media. Chloe Agnello, welcome. The ethical journalism for Syrian media, it lasted for five years. Um, it was quite a journey, right? Um, can, you, can you tell us why it started in 2016? At the onset of the conflict, there were a surge of citizen journalists that began to cover the events as they were happening in Syria cover the stories and the voices of people who otherwise were not being covered. The ethical journalism for Syrian media really focused on the professionalizing process. We worked in a co-partnership with um, these Syrian individuals and with Syrian media organizations for the mission that we wanted to bring more reliable information to Syrian audiences and really in the broader vision of creating, creating civic space where there wasn't one and creating this uh, pluralistic and independent media landscape. With us, we have uh, Mona Abdel Maksud. You've been working with partners on the ground. I understand also that they come from very different backgrounds, and so dialogue has been a very important component of this project. Could you please tell us how uh, you have worked with them on dialogue? Political actors are affecting the situation, being on one table and talking to each other was really a, magnific a magnificent achievement to be reached. Inclusivity is a, a very important uh, value that we are all defending in this project. And we believe that each one deserves a chance to be here. Talking about gender in general uh, was quite a, a challenging thing because uh, it, it, it has a lot of stories that are related to stereotyping, different customs and traditions. FPU invested in uh, multiple audience research um, be, to be carried out throughout the five years, which essentially uh, went to investigate what are they uh, consuming in regards to media and what are their, what are their needs in regards to um, information, uh, things relating to their everyday needs, lives and rights. And, and we really helped uh, to facilitate feeding this information back to our media partners um, so that they could use this to inform their editorial line and to consistently uh, make sure that they're providing credible and relevant information. One of the achievements is um, putting all Syrians on one table across divides and also getting them hearing each other and they are now looking at uh, their media outlets not as a project rather than as a vision in order to still exist in the media ecosystem. It's now uh, done along with the new program, which is the cohesion through independent and inclusive media, and also collaborating with the, another project uh, with the, funded by EU, which is the ethical uh, journalism for sustainable peace to uh, build this new society reliable information and they can work uh, for change, uh, development, uh, social rebuilding and cohesion. The journey of this program has been documented in a beautiful storytelling website. If you're interested, please check out www.ethicaljournalismsyria.org. See you next time. Bye.